Hello Sagittarius, welcome to the Manjula Awakening. Today I'm going to do your daily dove love reading. See what's going on for those of you looking for love. Alright, so what is going on? Guys, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as any and all ninth house placements, but I would especially check it out if any of those significant planets are in your ninth house, guys. Spirit, what is the love message here for Sagittarius? Thank you, Spirit. So we have trust. Uh, it is safe to trust in this situation. All right, so what's going on with you, Sag? You need to trust somebody? Ooh. Sagittarius, somebody is secretly yearning for you. Whoever and whatever this is, it is protected and divinely guided. Okay. Okay. So, consciously, we have radical, radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. So, there's something that you have to release in order to have this connection. But there is a need to set boundaries because there's this inkling that this person may be tied up into something. But we're going to see what's going on, Spirit, for Sagittarius' love life today. What is this daily energy check-in for Sagittarius and love? What's going on here? Trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. That's the card that actually came out. Okay. So we have the world card. The nine of swords. The hanged man. The eight of pentacles. And the temperance card. My, my, my. That's beautiful energy. Because I feel like that there's this closing out of this anxiety. There's this... Um, this nine of swords, nine of swords for me, it's these, the eight of swords keeps you trapped and stuck in these self-imposed, like you don't make movements because of self-imposed thoughts. The nine of swords lets me know that fear and anxiety is keeping you up at night and it's, and it's controlling the way that you take action. So right here, I feel like that that is closing out. And that's what this release energy is that is in the conscious mind. This is the action steps. So I think that you're actively aware of the fact that there's some unfounded fears and anxiety that if nothing else needs to be talked about, instead of them staying trapped inside of you, they need to be talked about. But there's also this energy of balancing out, really getting in this energy of picking what's real and what's not okay because the nine of swords can create self-fulfilling prophecies so i do feel like that that is closing out i also feel like that there's this energy of this epiphany that is going on as well it's like this bolt of epiphany is going to illuminate you some unfounded fears you or this person and what i feel like that that's going to do i feel like that once that um, epiphany happens I feel like that this stagnant energy within this connection does come to a close because there's this longing energy that replaces this fear and this anxiety and I feel like that that then puts this person in the energy of can I work this out how do I work this out is Sagittarius going to work this out with me but I do feel like that this is all being equalized and balanced out I do feel like that forward movement is coming. I do feel as if this person is being strategic. I don't feel... I don't feel as if this person is... Um... I feel like that the bulk of this situation really does boil down to... Um... I do feel like this person is being strategic because they want because they're unsure on one if you're going to balance this out with them um if you desire to balance this out with them and if you do do they have what it takes okay that's what i really do feel like that energy is but let's go one more round we're only four minutes well five spirit can you please clarify the world card
So we have the five of cups. There's definitely this sorrow, this regret, this remorse that is coming to an end because I feel like that it's like, Someone is finally willing to see what is left brewing and they're willing to walk away from any of the old emotional baggage. I do feel like that this is making peace with the past and seeing and, and nurturing what is left. Okay, Spirit, what is this Nine of Swords? What is this fear, anxiety, self um, that are creating these self-fulfilling prophecies? Even though I feel like these are coming to a close. We have the seven of cups. So this is worry and anxiety over the options and the choices to balance this out. Yeah. And then we have the, uh, the knight of wands. I don't know. Maybe this is... Uh, taking a lighter approach to it and not so much worrying about it, but there needs to be a balancing out of being logical and passion. It has to be balanced. It can't, too passion is too immature. Even though you need that free spirited energy, it has to have some planning behind it. Uh, the hanged man spirit. Why is the hangman here? For Sagittarius's daily love message. The four, of, uh, the four of Swords. So this is definitely a pause in healing. I feel like that healing has taken place, is taking place. I do feel like that there's still a level of fear and anxiety that must be addressed here. There is a lot of fear, like to the point that I feel like one overthinks their options to the point of self-sabotage. Yeah. But they, but this is this like this is a this is the epiphany that's coming in. This is what's being realized that took place in the past. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Sagittarius's daily love message? So we have the King of Pentacles working on your stability. Uh, this is someone is working on their stability. Someone is trying to get grounded. I do feel as if that this is this is to make a stable offer. Uh, you make you may end up working with this person. We do have King and Queen of Pentacles here, so this is definitely working on a stable, solid foundation. This is working on bringing your family dynamic back into a whole place again. It's going to require some strength confidence and agility from you but i feel like that you have what it takes and i feel like that that's what this message is saying trust it is safe to trust in this situation nurture this connection most definitely feel like we're dealing with a committed connection this could be a sagittarius that is married or definitely in a committed relationship spirit why is temperance here for sagittarius's love life Spirit, why is temperance here for Sagittarius's daily love message? We have the justice card. So this is either something that's leading to marriage. I also feel like that if you're in any legal battles uh, with someone else, I do feel as if that is also balancing out as well. But this, I do feel like we're dealing with a committed when we have, we have the king of pentacles, queen of pentacles, the hierophant and the justice. Definitely maybe speaking to a Sagittarius that is married. Um, that could be in separation right now. I feel like that this is balancing out. You could, this. Uh, what else do we need? What else do we need to know about temperance here? I do feel like that karma is clearing. Absolutely, the Queen of Wands. 
So this is self uh, reevaluating your confidence level, balancing out your confidence level. This is my advice position. So uh, for this to fall here with temperance and my advice, this is most definitely about nurturing and, and getting back to what fills your soul, what lifts you up, build your confidence up. You know, the Queen of Wands, she's very charismatic, passionate, confidence. Nothing stops the Queen of Wands from wielding her magic to, to bring in what it is that she desires. And I feel like that that is the message from the universe. It's about time to rebalance yourself out. And once you rebalance yourself out, I feel like that this will come back into alignment as it is meant to like it is very possible it is tangible in this reading alrighty Sagittarius let's get a closing message from here this is the cosmic soul journey or the cosmic journey oracle closing message for Sagittarius's love life spirit All right, thank you, Spirit. It says the phoenix rises into joyful abundance. So I definitely feel like this is you rising above, the, rising from the ashes. This connection, rising above the above the ashes, and uh, making the best out of what we have left, and and in in fixing it because we're worthy of it. Alrighty, Sagittarius. I pray that this message provided you with some guidance on your journey. If this message did resonate, we would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, guys, let's choose peace. Love and light.